actions are judged by their intention and every man shall be judged accordingly and whatever you keep inside of your heart alhamdulillah wa nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nastaghfiruh wa na'udhu billahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyi'ati a'malina wa may yahdihillahu fala mudilla lahu wa may yudlil fala hadiya lahu wa ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wahtuhu la sharika lahu wa ashhadu anna muhammadar rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in thumma amma ba'd my dear brothers and sisters wherever you are around the globe at this present time i greet you with the greetings of the believers assalam peace assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Peace be upon you and the mercy and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first and foremost to bless this gathering and to accept it as an hour that is solely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow it to be an hour in which we can grow together. An hour in which we can recharge our hearts from the trials and tribulations that have afflicted us from throughout the week. My dear brothers and sisters tell me who your friends are and I will tell you who you are Brothers and sisters think for a moment who are those people who are close to you those people who you hang with those people who you call your friends are they the type of person that is encouraging you to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the type of person that is encouraging you to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or are they the type of person that is taking you further away further away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helping you to forget about Allah helping you to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in an authentic hadith la tasahib ila al-mu'min وَلَا يَأْكُلْ تَعَامَكَ إِلَّا التَّقِي The Prophet ﷺ said, Do not take as a companion, as a companion, except a true believer. And do not allow them to eat from your food except for someone who fears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and sisters, the friendships that you take in this world will have an immediate effect on who you are. a righteous friend a friend who is reminding you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a friend who prays who rem- who is remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help you yourself to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but a friend who is far away from righteousness a friend who is far away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will also have that influence and effect on you to take you far away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as as well the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in an authentic hadith inma mathal jalis as-salih wa jalis as-su' ka hamil al-misk wa nafikh al-kir fa amma al-hamil al-misk fa imma an yuhdhika aw imma an tabta'a minhu aw imma an tajra minhu rihan ta'iba وَنَفِخَ الْكِيرِ فَإِمَّا أَنْ تُحْرِقَ ثِيَابَكَ أَوْ إِمَّا أَنْ تَجْرَ مِنْهُ رِيحًا مُنْتِنَةً The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that the likeness of the righteous friend and the friend who is not righteous, the evil friend is like that of the misk perfume seller and the blacksmith as for misk perfume seller that you might acquire you might acquire some of his merchandise or you may purchase 
some of his goods. But at the very least, at the very least, you will be influenced and affected by his sweet smell. But as for the blacksmith, he may burn your clothes, but at the least, you will be affected from his foul smell. This is how it is, my brothers and sisters, for us when we're talking about friends. The good friend, the righteous friend, will have an effect like that of the perfume seller. The perfume stays just by shaking his hand that you have, that you will be affected and influenced. But those who have a friend that is not righteous also, they will influence you. The righteous friend, my brothers and sisters, is the one who is calling you, who is encouraging you, encouraging you to do good in this life, encouraging you to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, encouraging you to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the friend that calls you if you happen to miss the masjid and says, brother, is there something wrong? I haven't seen you. He is the friend or she is the friend that just calls you for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just to make you pleased and to make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pleased. It is the friend who makes dua for you when you are ill, prays for you, when you are ill or in need or just prays for guidance for you. The righteous friend is the friend that meets just for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just to hear the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoken or just to learn something small, even a few words, something new, just for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It, it is related on the Sahaba, Mu'adh bin Jabal, the Sahaba of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, radiallahu anhu, Mu'adh bin Jabal, the Imam of the Ummah, the first real caller to Islam that went to Yemen, Mu'adh bin Jabal, it is related that Mu'adh radiallahu anhu used to walk through the marketplace and he would say to people, Ta'al, Ta'alu, 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 come, come. Let us increase our Iman for an hour. Let us remember and glorify Allah wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala once has ordered us, ordered a believer, to be amongst those who are righteous. Allah has be those and those Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. Allah has in the Quran. Wasbilam aladina yadaun arbahum bilgadati walla shi biduna wajha wala ta'duayna ka'anhum turinina tal hayat dunya wala tu ta'man abfalna kalbahu an dikna wataba hawahu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, keep yourself patient with those who are remembering. Keep yourself patient by being with those who are remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the mornings and the evenings, seeking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's face. And do not turn your eyes from them, seeking this worldly life. And do not obey those whose hearts we have made heedless on our remembrance, those who followed their desires and their affairs are in vain. The great scholar Ibn Qayyim, he has explained to us, my brothers and sisters, that the friend that a human being can have is one free. Either he is like nutrients, a friend that you need all the time, or either he is a friend like a medicine. Sometimes you need him and sometimes you do not. Or either he is a friend like poison. Poisoning you. Poisoning deep into you, bring you down until finally, finally your destruction. The good friend, my brothers and sisters, the righteous friend, call you to the right path. The righteous friend will be there by your side whenever you need him. The righteous friend will stay with you. But not only in this life, 
but also in the next life. The righteous friend will be your companion in this life and also in the next, the day of judgment and even in the past, that he will be your companion forever. But those friends, those friends who are far away from Islam, far away from obedience to Allah, far away from the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you had a friend like this on the day of judgment, he will no longer be your friend. He may be your friend in this life, maybe. Maybe he will make it and continue to be your friend until the end, maybe. But in the afterlife, he will become your enemy. He will become your enemy. And you will also become his enemy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in the Quran, أَلَّخِلَّاءُ يَوْمَئِذٍ بَعْضُهُمْ لِبَعْضٍ عَدُوهٌ إِلَّا الْمُتَّقِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, Close friends on that day will become enemies except for the righteous. Except for the righteous people. The righteous person on that day will continue to be your friend. But those who are leading you astray, those who you are hanging with, who are taking you away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, on this day, you thought that he was your friend? Now on this day, he will become your enemy. And you will become his. And you will begin to say that, oh Allah, no, it, he was the one who was trying to take me away. He was the one who, who, who led me. It was him who told me to do these things. I just followed him. It was him who told me to do these things. And then he will point back and he will say, no, no, I didn't do it. It was him. You're the one that made me do it. And then you'll say, you're the one that made me do it. And then he'll say, you're the one that made me do it. Until they will start to say, Ya laytani. Ya laytani ittakhadtu ma'ar rasool sabila. Ya waylata. Ya waylata. Laytani lam ittakhid fulanan khalila. لقد ضلني عن ذكر بعد إذ جاءني وكان الشيطان للإنسان خذولا يا ليتني يا ليتني يا ليتني اتخذت اتخذت مع الرسول سبيلا if only if only I had have taken the path of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Ya laytani, ya waylata. Oh, oh no. Oh, death to me! What have I done? If only I had not taken him, that so and so, as a friend. If only I haven't taken him as a friend. He led me astray after the remembrance came to me. He led me away from it. And verily, shaitan is a deserter. Shaitan is a deserter. That shaitan, he was my friend in the dunya. But now, but now, he's saying that he had nothing to do with it. Verily, shaitan is a deserter. This is how it will be, my brothers and sisters, on the day of judgment, with those people who you called friends, who you thought that they were your friends, that were taking you away from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those who were calling you to, to do the wrong things, who told you, don't listen to Muhammad, he's calling you to prayer, listen to me. That will be their fate. That will be how it is. In the afterlife, you will become enemies. But your, your friend that was righteous, those of you, if you had a friend who was righteous, he will continue to be your friend, even in the paradise. And he will be of those who are loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
It is related from a tabi'een, those who came after the Sahaba. Bishr bin al khawlani said in a very beautiful story that he told, and that was that one day he went to the mosque in Damishk, in Damascus. And when he went there, he saw a young man sitting there. And this young man had a face that was glowing from beauty. And the people were crowding around him and asking him questions. And he was smiling and answering them questions and smiling and giving them questions until, until Bishar asked the people, who is this man? They said, it is Mu'adh bin Jabal, radiallahu anhu, the Sahabi of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a man who lived with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Mu'adh bin Jabal. So Bishr then the next day woke up early for Fajr and he went to the masjid, he wanted to meet him. And he said, when I arrived to the masjid, Mu'adh bin Jabal had already beaten me there, he was already there praying. So I waited until he finished his two rakahs and then I came to him from in front. And I came to him and I said to him, Assalamu alaikum. And he replied, Oh, alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And then I looked at him and I said, Innani yuhibbuka fillah. Verily, I love you for the sake of Allah. And Mu'adh looked at him and said, For Allah? He said, Yes, for Allah. Mu'adh again said to him, For Allah, you love me? He said, Yes, for Allah. Mu'adh looked at him again and said, For Allah, you love me? He said, yes, for Allah. And then Mu'adh reached over and took him by the shoulder and pulled him close to him. And he said, I bring you good tidings, my friend. I give you good tidings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said that my love is compulsory for those who love for my sake and those who sit together for my sake and those who fit each other for my sake and those who put in their effort for my sake. Wajib. The love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is compulsory for those. Inshallah brothers and sisters we'll take a short break but we'll watch a small video first and then we'll go on to a break inshallah and we'll be back just after this video on break inshallah ta'ala. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم مثل الجليس الصالح والسود كحامل المسك ونفخ الكي فحامل المسك إما أن يحذيك وإما أن تجد منه ريحا طيبا ونافخ الكير إما أن يحرق ثيابك وإما أن تجد منه ريحا خبيثا In a game of golf, both the caddy and the golfer have the same goal, to get the ball into the hole. Interest-free banking is similar. With a clear view of the fairway, a predefined agreement without shifting targets, things should end up where you want them. Your deposits are safe and your funds are ethically managed with a transparent and equitable approach to sharing risk and reward. No interest burden means more time to relax without the worry of nasty surprises. Rest assured, our interest is mutual. Guys Bank, Nigeria's first full-fledged non-interest bank. I've been on 
us today to talk about the Quran and the modern world. The religion that is acceptable to Almighty Creator is Islam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. The more you know about him, the more you realize how you want to be like him. For every messenger, a prophet that Allah has sent, Allah gave him one dua. Allah sent prophets after prophet, messenger after messenger to remind everyone to see deny. how you are. That the person is on that way of life. If your friend is far away from Islam, far away from praying, and far away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you don't hear him mention Allah, then know that you're not too far away from that. Because that will affect you. That will get inside you. And this happens so much today. It happens to our youth in the schools. It happens to our brothers and sisters in the universities. It happens that peer pressure. Peer pressure, they... They try to encourage you to, to go with them and to do those things that are wrong. Take drugs or smoke or just not remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, boyfriends and girlfriends. That the peer pressure becomes too much. But let me tell you, brothers and sisters, the real, the real believer, he's not afraid to stand alone. He's not afra afraid to stand up and to say, no, I don't want this. He's not afraid to put that in. But unfortunately for many of us, we have fallen in the error and we need to come back. One story that I'll tell you, brothers and sisters, about uh, someone that I have known, and that is the family. It's a very sad story about a sister who is a Quran teacher, one of the best Quran teachers, a sheikha. And also her husband was a Quran teacher as well. And the son was in the school and he was studying as well. And he had a lot of Quran with him as well. And they weren't just half of the Quran, but they actually tried to implement it into their lives. But, what, but the husband at one time became ill. And he had a stroke and he was out of action for a long time. And in this time the mother had to tend to him a lot. And she couldn't keep an eye on the son too much. The son was at school and little did she know that he began to take friends that were unsavory, friends that were not very nice, friends that were not reminding him of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Until th one thing led to another and he began to skip school first of all. They didn't know. The only time they found out when there was a problem was when he began to steal money. To steal money from the mother and the father for what? To take drugs. What started as an innocent thing, an innocent friendship, led, led now to skipping school and taking drugs. And this caused so much heartache for that family. Wallahi, the, the sister used to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah would fix her son. And alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has. And she realized the problem and took him out of the school and put him in another school away from that person and, and told him not to ever take these bad friends again. This is how dangerous it is, my brothers and sisters. This is how easily we can fall into error. And we have a small video, inshallah ta'ala, that will also give us an idea of just how severe is this problem? How, how bad can it happen to us if we take the wrong friends? Just take a look at this video, my brothers and sisters. Ya 
Allah. What can we say? What are we waiting for, brothers and sisters? Are we waiting for our lives to end up like this? Are we waiting for us to end up like this? Imagine, imagine the ending. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave this brother, the, the righteous brother, or the brother that had some righteousness in him, gave him another chance to come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But imagine if your life was taken and you're in that situation. You didn't pray. You were probably listening to music, smoking, all these things. Can you imagine facing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this condition? How do you think your condition would be? How do you think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What would you say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you were to Meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this condition. Brothers and sisters, inshallah ta'ala, now we'll open up the telephone lines, inshallah ta'ala, and uh, we, we, we hope that you call in, inshallah ta'ala. This is your time to talk about this subject. It is a subject that, it is a subject that we've had a lot of uh, information about, a lot of response about. So let's open up the telephone lines and get your opinion Let's get your words, maybe your advice, maybe something happened to you, maybe you know a story, anything, anything you can help us with, brothers and sisters. Help us to 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 big this, to, to apply this into our lives. This this having a righteous friend. Tell us if you have a righteous friend. Tell us about it. The phone numbers are on the screen there, brothers and sisters. We have 002 02 248 249 002-02-38555-248-249 The numbers are on the screen there of course and we are ready to listen. Please brothers and sisters if you have something to tell us then tell us about uh, then, then if you have something that can help us then please call in and tell us about this inshallah ta'ala. But brothers and sisters why we're waiting there for, you, for your calls just look at how dangerous it can be. Just look at, if we look at the two friends in that video, the two people in that video, one was someone who was calling him to prayer, calling him to come and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the other one was calling him away from it. And what was the ending? 
How did they end up there? We have a telephone call already. We have, we have Sister Huda from Egypt. Assalamu alaikum, Sister Huda. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Sheikh, I, I want to say something about, about today. You, you get me think about something that one time I, in the time of prayer and Choma, afternoon, people go and masjid and pray to Raqqa only. But I see one man, he run, run, run and carry his uh, masala to catch the prey and Imam, they pray one Raqqa already. Me it one lakka finish. I, I, I see, I, I don't like this. I, I feel that why he don't prepare himself. Just two rakka only. Two rakka only in Friday. And he run to cash the pay. And they pay already one lakka. This, 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 this for nothing. You understand? Mean, mean, you don't prepare yourself to, to pray to, okay, the time have come. And they have calendar Arabic to tell you this time, what time, this time, what time, this time, what time. This is something make me feel very bad. And one thing, when I see Huda TV, and every time in when they pray in Maghrib, Alasha, they get picture in from uh, Mecca, from Saudi Arabia. I see that some people they pray already. People go look pray already. They in the time of pray they pray, but we have some people walk among them. How that come? He he must know that people pray now. When they come down. He closed them. He, he walked closing them. It's me. I, 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 can, I cannot believe this. How, how they don't, nobody tell them that when you are, people, people pray, you don't bother people to pray and walk among people who pray. This makes me very sad and let, make me feel, I'm sorry. Yeah, I want to tell people, advise people that if the time of prayer, if you can know the time, pray in the time better, but not they pray finish two laka already or one laka already and you run to catch the prey. This is what they want to say today. Sister. Shukran, Sheikh. Jazakallah khair, Sister, sister Huda. Huda. Inshallah, we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. We have another telephone call here. We have Sister uh, An Anissa from, from Egypt here. Assalamu alaikum, Sister. Sister Anissa, Assalamu alaikum. Are you there, Sister? Hello? Ah, Assalamu alaikum, sister. Hello? Hello, Assalamu alaikum. You're live on Live Hearts, sister. Hello, Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Go ahead, sister. Hello? Go ahead, sister. We can hear you. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Sheikh, I have this story. Yes, it sister. It was about my life and my sister. My mother passed away when we were young, almost four to two months. And then we were raised by my auntie. She wasn't that religious. So when we grow up, we used to go to madrasa. We quitted at the ten of ten years, at the age of ten years, and my sister was eight. We had these friends. They were bad. I can't believe. Sometimes when I remember, I just feel like crying. They were bad. I didn't used to read the Quran. If someone tell me pray, I used to tell them, Why should I pray? You go and pray. I won't pray. But alhamdulillah, when I came to Egypt, I realized God changed my ways. If I tell you, Sheikh, what I've been through in my life, you will break down and cry. But alhamdulillah, what can I say? God saved me. And alhamdulillah, all praise to Allah. Alhamdulillah, sister. Jazakhilahu khair. Thank you very much, sister. I, 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 don't, I didn't even hear it. I'm crying as it is. Uh, we have another telephone call here. We have Khadija from Nigeria. Sister Khadija, Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, Sheikh. Good afternoon. Uh, go ahead, sister. Go ahead. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, it's not a question. I just want a prayer because the topic you are talking on today has touched me. I have a grown up son. He is 26 years old. He finished university after going through so many problems because of bad friends. He's smoking. So sometimes we, he will quit and then he will go back to eat again. So please, as a Muslim brother, I'm asking for a prayer. So that what's Allah what's his name, sister? That. What's his name, sister? His name is Sanusi. Sanusi? Yes. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al-Azim, al-Rahman. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with all his beautiful names and attributes to guide our brother Sanusi. 
guide him away from these friends that are taking him away. And make it easy for his mother Khadija, Ya Rabb. Make it easy for her, Ya Rabb. InshaAllah, Jazakiyallahu khair, sister. Jazakiyallahu khair. We have another telephone call. We have uh, Taha from Ta Tahir, Tahir from, from Togo. In Islam, uh, for all the people in the world. So I'm praying for any time to have power of Allah to help us any time. Uh, uh, Tahir, Tahir, uh, can you say again, uh, brother? We didn't quite catch you. Salam alaikum, Tahir. I know that. What you have? Go ahead, Tahir. Go ahead. Yeah, it's so good. And so I'm looking on live. I'm just looking at television. Uh, yes. Yes, talk. Yes. The program, uh, Al -Huda. Go ahead, Tahir. Ah, uh, subhanAllah. We've dropped out there, but we have Ahmed from uh, from Qatar. Uh, Ahmed, Salam alaikum, Ahmed. Wa alaikum salam, Salam alaikum, Shaykh. How are you doing today? Alhamdulillah, bi khayyali. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, I just have a small question. Go ahead. Uh, is it okay to um, befriend pe uh, people who really are not so good, are are not really so righteous, but still we have the confidence that we can, I mean, reward them to, uh, I mean, to be good. You know. Uh, you got so my question. So you mean, you mean like, is it okay to hang out with, with friends uh, who are not so good, but your intention is to try and uh, give them dawah? Is that what? Exactly, exactly, that's what I meant. Mm. Good, good question, inshallah. Uh, we'll get back to you in a minute there. Uh, just keep watching, inshallah, we'll get your answer there. Uh, we, have another, we have another telephone call. Sister Estahyu. Estahyu uh, from, from Egypt here. Assalamu alaikum, sister. Go ahead, sister. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello? Go ahead, sister. Yeah, I really like your show, Sheikh. It really moved my heart, mashallah. After a week of hardship, I really come forward to watch your show. Mashallah, you're doing a great job. And I like this episode talking about friends. I have been there, I have seen how friends can be. And lead you from good path to bad path, inshallah. And, and I really hope that you are doing a very great job. Jazakallah khair, sister. Jazakallah khair. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yeah, you know, may Allah keep you firm, is, sister. They can take you to Jannah or take you to hell. So we really should choose our friends good. Jazakallah khair, sister. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you, keep you on firm, straight path, inshallah. Keep us all. Ya Rabb, guide us all to the straight path. Guide us all to... A, to a, to a good friend, to a righteous friend. The Sahaba used to sit inside the masjid and say, Allahumma aj'alni jaleesan salih. Yani, oh Allah, make for me a, 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 a righteous sitting. They would make dua, and this is what we should do. Make dua, Ya Rabb, bring me a righteous friend. We all need friends in this life. But Ya Rabb, bring me a righteous friend. Let's go to Ahmed's, uh, Ahmed's question here. A very good question, Ahmed has said, is it okay to hang out with these guys who are doing bad things uh, with the intention of trying to bring them out of it? The answer is no. The answer is that they will have more influence upon you. It is okay to contact them. It is okay to, to talk to them like, like he did in the, in, the move, in, the, in the video there, that he went up and he gave them a chance. He salam alayhim. He gave them salams and he told them, come on, come to prayer. But to go with, he didn't go with them in the car. No, he didn't do that. He, he went to the masjid instead. So it's okay to contact them and to speak to them. But at the same time, don't go with them. Just give them advice. Call them to the right path. Get yourself some new friends. Then go with those friends and call them. Continue to call them to the right path. But don't go with them. Because they're going to be smoking. They're going to be taking drugs, they're going to be doing all these things and you're going to be witnessing? Could you imagine, imagine if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends you uh, uh, something in that time and you die and you're with those friends, wouldn't you rather be with good friends, with salih friends, righteous friends? We have a telephone call. We have brother Nabaz from Kurdistan. Salam alaikum brother Nabaz up there in Kurdistan. Salam alaikum. 
Brother Nubaz, Assalamu alaikum, brother. Brother Nabaz. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Go ahead, we're, we're listening here on live. Uh, okay, Shaq. Uh, 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 I'm talking to you from Kurdistan, Iraq. Uh, God bless you. And, you know, in Kurdistan, uh, there are a, a lot of audience to Huda, Huda TV. Allah God rewards you a million times, Chef. Uh, Chef, you know, uh, you are just talking about the impact of friends. Actually, you know, sometimes you have to uh, talk to your friend very, you know, very kindly. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, uh, I, I've got a friend, and he's a Marxist, by the way, but uh, I, I usually talk to him, you know, I bring them evidence from Quran and from different uh, books. By, by the way, uh, you know, Sheikh, and uh, he started day by day to, to get closer to Islam. Okay. Uh, is your influence... Uh, you know, for the whole, I mean, uh, Islam is very rich. Um, uh, Islam uh, has a very, uh, a very good, uh, you know, evidence towards any, uh, any crime and Bruni and uh, about everything. Therefore, my friend actually said, uh, the, the previous friends, they already uh, talked to me in a very severe way, in a very angry way. But thank you for uh, for talking to me in such kind, friendly way. And actually, you know, uh, the very thing he stood against Islam and says, uh, you know, I've read uh, in Marxism and Islam, uh, uh, religion is the option of the other nation. I said, yes, friend. Uh, it is uh, quiet and true. You know, this is uh, when uh, Islam says every time I think about Islam deeply, uh, it is not a matter of of of, of uh, saying something uh, falsely or. Mm. Jazakallah khair. We seem to run out of time there, or the phone calls cut off there. So Jazakallah khair. And yeah, if you, I mean, it's okay. We shouldn't really call them our good friends, uh, like a, a non-believer. Uh, it's okay to have him as like an acquaintance, someone who you talk to, and you're trying to encourage him to become a Muslim, you feel sorry for him. This is great. But to take him as a friend, as a true friend, like, a, like in a love situation that you count on him and he counts on you, this is not permissible in Islam. So what we do there is, yes, we, 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 let's not get this mixed up with Ihsan. We should... Give ihsan to those people, the best manners, the best way to those who are not Muslims. We should show them what Islam is. Visit them, give them something if they're sick, make dua for them if they're sick. But at the same time, our best friends that we should, ha that we should be with is the believer like the Prophet ﷺ said. He said, al-mu'min," And they do not take as a companion except for a true believer. So we should make our, our true companions true believers. We're not talking about any believers here. We're not talking about a believer that he, he, he says with his mouth, but his actions, he's not praying, he's drinking alcohol. He's, no, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about a true believer, a mu'min. A mu'min. That's who we're talking about. And Jazakallah uh, khair, brothers and sisters, for all of the calls that we've had today. Beautiful, mashallah. Uh, just quickly going to the Facebook Okay. Let's take one more call from Osama. Uh, Sama, Sama, sorry, Sama. From Palestine. From Palestine there. Assalamu alaikum, sister. Assalamu alaikum, sister. Welcome to Living Hearts. Hello. Alaikum, salam. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Assalamu alaikum, can you hear me? Okay, I can't hear you from here, so I'm just going to talk while I'm looking at you. Um, I wanted to share with everyone a life experience, more or less uh, about myself. I was blessed a few years ago with a twin. And I'm not proud to say, but our lifestyle wasn't really, you know, following Islam completely. We were more or less Muslims by name. And unfortunately... I guess, you know, as a test from God, we ended up uh, losing one. He was eight and a half months at the time. But I just want everyone to know that even though we don't remember Allah sometimes, and sometimes we feel, you know, going out with people and drinking and having fun and forgetting, you know, 
praying five times a day thinking, you know, we're too busy to uh, or, you know, there's other better things to do. But sometimes God, Allah, you know, he finds a way to bring someone back to him and, you know, it's better for people, you know, yeah. to realize this before, you know, they have to go through something that very life-changing for them in yeah. order for them to understand, you know, that Allah, you know, to be well. I know, I know what you mean, sister. He does whom he wants. Yes, I agree. But sometimes he does choose who he wants, and we're too blinded to see until you know something. Some, really, sometimes really Allah, sub, sometimes Allah Subhanahu wa Taala wax wax you back know. into line, yeah. Everything you know now is yeah. better, and even. And you know, Alhamdulillah, I'm. I started praying, and following oh, yeah. Islam. Alhamdulillah, my other kids they follow me too. And they start praying even though they're very young. I'm going to have to say, you know, even though I'm still learning slowly. Alhamdulillah, sister. And, uh, I'm so sister, I'm sorry there, but we'll cut you off there. Unfortunately, we've run out of time. But uh, feel free to continue on the Facebook. Uh, we have now uh, close to 1,500 people on the Facebook now. And it's, it's a community that's growing. We're working together. We're giving out advice, we're helping each other. There's a whole stack of comments from today's show that people have made. So get onto the Facebook, Living Hearts, and get on there and inshallah ta'ala uh, have your say and uh, tell us what, what you would like to say there. And I'm very happy to hear the sister that, uh, subhanAllah, it's true, that we come back to Islam. Sometimes we go away and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us a good slapping. Yani really, we fall on our faces and then the, there's only one way to return. And that's to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Only one way to return and that is to Allah. Once we've lost everything, then we realize that the only thing we do have in this life that is certain is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first and foremost, Ya Rabb, Ya Arham ar rahimin Ya Hadi, Ya Allah, guide us to the right path, Ya Allah. Guide us to righteous friends. Guide us to have righteous friends in this world. Make our hearts clean and make, our, make us strong. Make us strong, Allah, so that we may, so that we may have righteous friends in our lives, so that when we face this peer pressure that we can run away from it, Allah. Ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, make us of those who are on the right path. Ya Allah, keep us firm. Ya Allah, sustain us with righteous friends and a righteous life. Righteous husbands and righteous wives, Ya Allah, Ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, make us of those who are following the path of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam until the end of time. My brothers and sisters, it's been a nice program and it's been lovely talking to you, but we seem to have run out of time. So until next week, don't forget to get on the Facebook. Uh, the task of this week is of course to try and lose those bad friends that you had, those evil friends, and get yourself some good friends. Get yourself some righteous friends, those who are reminding of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Until next week, my brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. When you're living in a lawful way, be mindful of what you say, be sincere when you pray. Today could be your last day, bear each other no malice. Greed and faith can coexist in the same heart. heart. Oh Lord, only you can change your heart. We call upon you to do so, so that we may submit to you. Love me, love me,